yourself. Off by saying that this video is gonna be a message towards the developer Snail, not to. Well, later on, it's gonna be a message to the rest of the players that are still playing this game too. But for right now, I'm gonna be talking to Snail for for most of this, cause it. It seems like if I don't do, if, I, if nobody makes a video about this or any shows any kind of proof, it feels like they're not going to do anything about it. And it's just getting pretty ridiculous at this point because lately, pretty sure everybody noticed, lately Battle Royale around, yeah, 20 minutes from now, in 20 minutes from now, Battle Royale is going to be available, right? And usually around this time, if you go ahead and queue, once it's available, it's just going to crash your game. And I'll have uh, uh, images pop up once I edit this. But you get a crashing issue with the Battle Royale. And not just that, but they also got one for Edge of Survival. And also around this time too. Sometimes throughout the day too, but... It's just random, it feels like. It's random, but you can you can kind of spot when it's going to crash and when it isn't. And this shouldn't even be... We shouldn't even have to deal with that, because it's, it, it's just not something we're supposed to deal with. It wasn't always like that. It wasn't always like that. So they have one for Battle Royale, Edge of Survival, and they also have one for Abyss. Because when... I'm pretty sure also everybody noticed once level 250 came out like four months five months ago or something like that everybody started doing these other levels and as they started doing them we'd also get crashing issues with abyss and even sometimes because i farm level 200 for abyss and sometimes here and there i'll get a crashing issue and i won't be able to log in for like 20 30 minutes Battle Royale kicks you out for like around 30 minutes or 20 minutes. And Edge of Survival also kicks you out for 20 minutes. I'm pretty sure it's 20 minutes for Ed Edge of Survival, but... that the, It wasn't always like that. It wasn't always like that. These... You developers... I don't know why you guys are doing such a lousy job with updating the game and fixing all these issues. Because that's, that's not the only issue. That's probably the biggest issue but it my brain is like freezing up just trying to to continue moving on to these other points because there's just so many things wrong with this game and hard to even imagine how this game it went from being promoted by ronda rousey from the ufc i don't know if you guys know what that is but it's a, a fighting a fighting industry for mixed martial arts and the way it is now they went from that to barely making what 200,000 a month <laughs> I I don't know I don't know that's only something that the developers have an answer for but moving on to the other issues besides the crashing issues it, if we go over here to their revenue and their income you guys see how it says 70,000 in the last month and this is for apple this is only for apple it's not for android the 70,000 in the within the last month is uh overall it's not just for taichi panda it's for their other games uh these are inactive i don't know what that is but taichi panda pocket guide i don't know how they make money off of that but they got Conquest of War Empires. Like. Then. Whatever that is. I think it's Taichi Panda 2. And then Taichi Panda 3. And then Blade Reborn. All these other games. That's. That's how they make. Uh, 70,000 a month. It comes from all these other games. Besides these ones. Because these ones are inactive. They, they. They shut them down. But like I said. This is only for Apple. Now we go over here. And this is for Android. Android, 30000 a month from all these other apps, right? 
And now if you go down here to Taichi Panda, it's about 5000 a month. It, that, that's that's how much they make off of Andrew, uh, Apple in Taichi Panda. And for Apple, it's the same thing. Wait, no, it's 20000 20000 a month. So, and these numbers, they're pretty accurate. They're not that far off. And my proof to that is this other game that I play called Marvel Future Fight and Seven Deadly Sins. Seven Deadly Sins within the last month, they made 900000 right? The numbers here are a bit off, but they're still pretty accurate. You could kind of estimate it towards what it would be here. And my proof to that is over here at Nagato, Grand Cross. That's uh, the biggest YouTuber right now for Seven Deadly Sins. As you can see, he has 240,000 subscribers within, what was this, April? April, this game made $2 million in global and $1.3 million in JP, which is Japan. And in here, it shows you 900,000. This is for global. It's for global, not Japan. So, that, it's not far off. 900,000 to 2 million. That's like 1.1 million missing. So, it, and this is a valuable source. Because, again, Nagato, 240,000 subscribers and 51,000 views. You, you guys can go look at that channel for yourself. It's a legitimate source. So, back to my point, you got 900,000 from that game, and here it's one, uh, 2 million, so that's 1.1 million missing. Now, if we go back to Taichi Panda, they got 20,000 for Apple, all right? They got 20,000 for Apple, and that comes out to 70,000 a month with all their games, right? All the games that they have. And for Android, where is it? 5,000. And it's not 5,000 on the dot. It's... If I'm, if I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt within uh, Android and Apple, just Taichi Panda alone, they're probably making, like I'd say, thirty to 35,000 a month. Thirty to 35,000 a month just from Taichi Panda. Which is kind of kind of bad. It's kind of bad to be honest. That's pretty low. But my point with all this is it comes back to to the game. They might be saying, "Oh, we we're earning a little little amount of money because players are quitting and you guys aren't spending anymore." That's probably what they're saying right now, right? But my reply to that is the whole reason why nobody's spending on this game and as much as they used to because they used to be a big game back in like 2015, 16. That's, that was the peak of Tai Chi Panda. Everybody, it was pretty much, compared to right now, it was alive. And it was playable more than it is right now. But, um... I still I I still can't believe how 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 much this game has fallen and how bad these developers are but my point with all of this it's they they're making that much from Tai Chi Panda like 35 to 30,000 a month and like I said they're probably thinking that they're making that much because we're quitting and we're not spending that much which is true but the quitting part isn't on us. The quitting part is mainly their issue. It's it's their problem. They're they're basically forcing us to quit. Cause the proof to that is look at look at I'm gonna bring up every point that leads me to that. Look at this. The these rewards they've been the same since the game came out. It, they've been the same. They never changed. They never did anything like that. That's been the same. This doesn't even work. <laughs> this doesn't even work. Like, no, nobody. There's not a single way. Even if you spend money, you can't get anything for this to play it. You can't do anything with that. 
this right here, the rewards are also bad because compared to the way the game is right now with all the new stuff that we have from all these updates, this is going to do nothing. You get like what? Maybe 10 from here a day. Which is pretty bad because what are you going to do with that? You get 70 a week from this. That like You're not going to do that much with that. And then if you go to the re the reward rankings or the ranking prize. It is basically the same thing. It's just as bad. It's just as bad. It, like the rewards are all outdated. They're all outdated. This is probably. This is pretty decent because these just came out. That's pretty decent. But when you go over here to Decathlon, the reason why this is a problem is because they want to push level 4 star stones. One level 4 star stone chest is 250. So for 10 of these, it's 2,500 for 10 of these. Like, you play, if you play the game, you know how bad that is. <laughs> you know how bad that is. And look at how much I have and I do that daily. I quit for two years and came back last September. So, if I wasn't gone for two years, I'd probably have like, I don't know, 30,000 uh, tokens. But, onto the Warpath shop, it's basically the same thing. They're overpriced just for one of these. And the Merit Store, same thing. Overpriced just for one of those. And you can't even do that much with 10 of them. You need, in order to, because for these, you get, you're mainly going to use them for trigrams. I don't see you doing anything else with these. But for free to plays, you're probably going to use these to craft a level 9 star stone. And if you do this, buying it from these shops is going to take you forever because they're, they're too expensive just for one of them. And I don't, the funny part is the way the game is going, you like by the time you make a, a level 9 star stone from uh, being free to play from these shops, I'm pretty sure the game is probably going to be dead by then. <laughs> So that that's kind of the funny part to me. They're overpricing these boxes. And they, these developers, you guys think that the game is going to be alive long enough for somebody to even do anything with this. Because to be realistic with everybody here, I don't think this game is going to gonna last more than three years. I used to think it could go for five, but after looking at everything closely... I don't see it going past three years, especially after looking at their revenue. Not this one. It would be nice if they made nine mil, but <laughs> not right now. But maybe back in 2016. But as of right now, You're they wrong. only make like within Android and uh, Apple, they only make like 35 to 30 thousand a month, which is pretty bad. It's pretty bad. I wonder what it used to be like before. I wish I could look at those numbers to see how big of a difference it was, but it it's just I I don't know. Everything is outdated and back to my point from earlier. The reason why everybody's quitting is because every everything is outdated. The rewards for Mega Boss from Citadel, uh, Grand Tower, Warpath, they're all outdated. What does that mean? It means that if you're free to play, even if you're pay to play, you're still gonna, you're not gonna touch that. I don't touch Mega Boss. I haven't touched it for like four or five years. <laughs> I haven't touched it for that long. I'd never touch it. What do you mean by that? And if you do Warpath, I also don't play that. I most of these players don't play that anymore. Most of these the only the only game modes that people play are PvP, Battlefield, Team Instance, and it's all due to this right here, the challenge tokens. The challenge tokens, that's probably the best thing they they did. Cuz it brought it, it forces people to to do to play more and do their daily activities. For this right here. For mounts. Because pellets. You get more from this. Now that I'm thinking about it. I probably shouldn't bring this up. Because. 
knowing the developers they're gonna they're gonna see that we're doing good from this and they're gonna end up removing these rewards from here and i don't know ruining this too just like they've done with everything else because from mid-month event and the end of month event you don't really get that much and i'm trying to make this a short video but it's kind of impossible because there's so much wrong with this game like if there was a a player that came or started playing a year ago most of these mounts you wouldn't even be able to to get because when i came back where is it when i came back we were right here right here at this mount and that was last september 2022 so i don't have this one this one and that's pretty much it i don't have those two so imagine if you just started playing a year ago you probably don't have most of these mounts some of these you can get free to play but the ones from la a year ago you you wouldn't be able to get unless you you topped up like right away which most players don't do but everything is a problem in this game i'm going to try to make it quick because it's it's already at 16 minutes and it feels like i've been talking for like 5 minutes it's all a combination of everything being outdated in this game and my other point is this right here the the my wings i'm gonna make a separate for for most of these things i'm gonna make a separate video because right now i'm just talking about it but i'm gonna make a separate video showing proof on the battle royale eos edge of survival um abyss all the bugs in this game including king's pvp but king's pvp it's been like that for like four or five years since like 2018 or 17 and they still haven't fixed it why i don't know it's I, I don't know i really don't know and to you snail i guess what i'm what i'm trying to say here is you you, you can't expect the world from us if you're not gonna give us anything in return like you're i've seen i've been here for like the past what eight eight nine months and i've seen the events that you guys have made there there's been some times where the the materials that are there that come out after every update you keep them there and then you remove them and they never come back like that i don't get that i don't get that what you guys need to do is either you guys need to Re well you guys need to do all of these because making people come back to this game it's not gonna fix it all with one thing what you guys need to do is fix the crashing issues fix the battle royale crashing issues fix the edge of survival crashing issues the abyss and i'm praying that you guys don't make this worse because it i can see in the future pvp and um battlefield the cathalon probably and the arena i can see the game crashing every time we do those two so i hope i'm just saying this right now so you guys don't go any any further because you guys are just digging your own you're digging your own grave by doing all of this my message to and i probably should have said this at the beginning of the video but my message to every player that sees this and still plays this game the reason why i made this video is so you guys can forward it to 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 snail in their email send them the video and you guys don't have to do any any other work you you don't have to type them paragraphs or nothing show them proof nothing because i'm gonna do all of that i'm gonna make uh, other videos with proof and things that they should do so that way it's easier for everybody that way you just have to send them this video and that's it the problem with snail is that you guys are killing your own game because it was one one week ago i couldn't log in because i don't know what you guys did but 
you ended up breaking the login for Facebook. I had to get that fixed because I couldn't log in for three or four days. But before that, you guys broke the logins for Android devices. You can't log in on an Android device. Why? I don't know what I don't know what they're doing over there. I don't know what they're doing at the headquarters, but you can't log in on Android devices. And on the screen I'm gonna show you screenshots of people from Facebook, from Google Play and the reviews. They're they're saying all of this for the past I don't know, two years. I just came back seven month nine months ago. And uh I I wasn't dealing with this, but now I am. So, so with all of that, it forced me to look at everything else related to Taichi Panda to see if anybody else was dealing with this. And it turns out that there's other players that are dealing with this for like two months, one year, nine months, seven months, almost two years. Like, Snail, you're, you're slowly killing your game by doing that. That's why you're not making that much money. And that's why it seems like we're not trying to help you. But we can't help you if you don't help us help you. Because you're basically forcing us to quit. You're making all of these issues, all these bugs, all these glitches. And you're not even fixing them. Some people can't log in for over a year now. And... Up until now, they still can't log in. And why haven't you fixed that? I don't know. I don't know. I've been on the screen. I'm going to show you all the emails I've sent you within the past two months. It's over a hundred emails. And you guys still haven't done anything within two months. Other game companies would fix things like this within two days or one day. But it takes you guys more than two months. I, I don't get what's going on here. Like I've... I've messaged other players that have dealt with this issue and they've told me that they've emailed you guys and you guys don't do anything to, to fix the crashing issues or the login issues. And it's been over... Cause I can show you right now. I have one friend that's in my guild. He hasn't been able to play for like two months. It's about to be three, I think. Where is he? Uh, right here. John, right here. Two months ago. He was, uh, he played every day and now he can't log in for two months. He's still dealing with that. And every time we email you guys, you guys tell us to get a new device. Why do we have to get a new device for something that you guys have to fix? We shouldn't have to get a new device every time we can't log in. For example, if I can't log in right now, I have to get a new device. Let's say I get a new device. I can't log in. Do I have to get another device to log in? And then another to log in again? Like, it doesn't make sense. All this hypocrisy doesn't make sense. I don't know if I can say that because YouTube guidelines nowadays are... It, I don't know what they're doing either, but... We can't, we can't keep going in this direction. You guys need to... Need to start fixing your mistakes. So like I said before. And I know at this point I'm just repeating myself. But it's really what you guys have to do. Snail if you really want to fix this game. And. Prevent it from dying or. Because I believe you guys can go back to the way you were before. It all starts with. Fixing the login issues. Fixing. The crashing issues. The bugs that exist throughout the game, whether it's King's PvP or the crashing issues with Edge of Survival or the hitbox issues, which I haven't even talked about. But the hitbox issues, that's also a problem with Avenger, Mage, and lately Ninja because I've started to notice some problems with Ninja. So it feels like you're just slowly breaking the game. Why? I don't know. I don't know why you're breaking the game, but... It starts off with that and re, yeah, revamping the rewards right here because 20 uh, Lunar Tears, that's, that's like me giving somebody a penny. Like, that's going to do nothing. 
none of none of these rewards are gonna do anything towards our accounts. So revamping the rewards and another thing is I don't care. It let's say we get ten thousand lunar tears, ten thousand uh, actually that's too much. A thousand lunar tears, a thousand awakening pills, a thousand of these, and a million gold, right? You guys can do that, and I don't care if because of that mega boss becomes harder. You guys make like a level one thousand, or give him a billion HP and ten million damage, or basically if you improve his stats, I don't care if you make it harder. As long as you've revamped these rewards. I don't care if you make a new level for this. As long as you give us more tokens. Or. Yeah or change up the shop. Or make this cheaper. I don't care. Whatever it takes to. To get. Whatever it takes to fix all of these. All of these problems. Uh, I don't care. Whether it makes it more harder to, to beat this, I don't care. Do it. And for Treasure Escort too, I don't care if you make this harder, but renew the rewards too because I barely do this, but I think you get like 50, 50 total tokens a day from this, and that's that's nothing. That's You're getting nothing from that. I don't care if you increase the difficulty for these game modes, but just give us more rewards. Same thing for Grand Tower. I don't care whatever you do with this. As long as you allow us to play with this. Because it's been out for 5 years. And you can't even play it for 5 years. So. But speaking about revamping everything. You also have to come over here. The golden outfits. These haven't changed for like. Maybe 2 years. Maybe longer than that. I, I don't really keep track of most of these things because it's hard to keep track of everything. But this has been the same for a long time now. And there's... Look at all these other outfits. All of these. And it's been like this for like maybe three plus years. At least changed it like once a year. Once every five months, six months. At least do something like that. Because if you... If there's nothing to motivate the players, they the game is gonna slowly die. Whether you whether you fix the login issues or not, the game is gonna slowly die if there's no if it doesn't have that sense of that sense of of it being a new game or that motivation for us to, to keep farming materials and the motivation to play the game daily. Everybody can relate to this. Right now, which is the challenge tokens. I'm pretty sure everybody's doing their dailies and doing all these missions right here and whatever comes right here. We're doing all those missions just to get this right here. These uh, pellets. Because this gives you way more than end of month and mid month. You get 50,000 from here. That's 50,000, right? No, 60,000. 60,000 from here. And from end of month and mid month, you'd only get fifteen thousand or something like that, which they this I I don't I I don't even know what to say to that. But snail, that's that's my message to you. You need to you need to fix all these problems if you want to if you want the game to survive or if you want the game to improve and make more income than. What thirty thirty five thousand, more than thirty five thousand a month. Those are the things that you have to do. It all starts off with fixing the the login issues. Cause, for example, if I spend fifty thousand on this game, and I get a login issue right now, you just lost fifty thousand a month, right there. So you're doing this to a bunch of players, and some of those players they they just give up. They don't have the they don't have the patience to, to deal with anything like this. So they just quit and move on to a different game. And right there, you just basically... I don't know how much money you've lost due to that issue alone. Probably, I don't know, $10,000, $20,000 a month. 
you lost from all those players that can't log in. So, it, it, Snail, you're not you're not doing yourselves any favors. So, if anything, I'm doing you the favor and telling you what to do because it's been two years. Two years ago, this game wasn't like this. But seven, uh, nine months ago, when I came back, it there was barely anybody here, and there's still nobody here. Like there's there's not that many players left. So if you want to save the game from dying within the next two years, then those are the things that you have to do. And my message to all the players that are still playing this game: send this video to email this video to to Snail to Snail Games USA, so they can see this. And I'm going to make other videos because this video is too long. But I'm going to make other videos to, to show the proof of the crashes, the hitbox issues, the even the wings. You're seeing them right there. The, the new wings. Uh, there's an issue with that too. What else? Battle Royale. And um, oh yeah, uh, Total War. The Q1 issue with that. All the issues, I'm going to make separate videos for that. Because this video was too long and I was going to put them at the end of this video, but it's too long. So, I'm going to chop this up, make it shorter. And I don't know, maybe maybe I will put it at the end of this video if it's short enough. But if it's too long, I'm going to make other videos with proof and things that, things that snails should do. So, this game can can feel can go back to to at least to where it used to be it won't be the same as 2016 but at least this game will be in a better position than it is now so yeah that's gonna be my message to to snail in order for this game to to go back to somewhat what it used to be you have to stop being lazy fix all stop making these half-assed updates and put your effort into it and this is just tai chi panda alone it's just tai chi panda alone we're not talking about all these other games right here like um whatever this is they barely make money off of that too heroes of gala they barely make all these other games right here you're broke we're not even talking about those and everybody that plays tai chi panda you see all the bugs and everything wrong with this game. Now imagine these other games. Imagine everything wrong with these games. Snail, add, as a as a whole, you guys have to... If you guys want to make more money and improve the income and improve the, the community that we have left, that those are the things that you have to do. You have to stop being lazy and put more effort into fixing these bugs. If you put more effort into fixing these bugs, it'll motivate us to spend more because we'll have a sense of security thinking the game won't die within the next two years. Not just that, but we'll have another sense of security thinking that we won't get a login issue and we won't be forced to quit or anything like that. So all these small fixes is going to lead to to a better environment in this game and a better community because everybody everybody will be happy again now as of right now nobody's happy with this game because there's too many too many issues with this game you guys need to do a better job with fixing this game and focus on fixing bugs and any any type of issue instead of releasing new mounts or or speaking of mounts the animations for all these mounts the new mounts right here from this one to to this one right here they're all they're all the same same some of them don't even have animations and not just that but look at this right here cuz this is it's been the same for a long time see this like what is this the the effects on this mount the horns are supposed to be back here not up here like you see this one? That's how it's supposed to look. But they're up here. It's just... You guys are getting too lazy. All these small issues... It's... It's all... They they all add up. They all add up. So... That's gonna be it. 
to everybody that plays this game. Send this video to, to Snail. Email it to them so they can see it. And the other videos too. Send it to them. And for Snail, that, that's all I'm going to say. You guys need to focus on fixing these errors because the game is not going to get any better if you don't fix the errors. If you want to make more money and revive the community and have a bigger community and have people come back and spend on this game, you have to fix all these errors first. Like I said, to sum it all up and to to keep it short, even though the media, the video is over 30 minutes, but in short, the snail, what you got to do in order to make the game what it used to be, you have to learn how to communicate with the community because that, that's the first thing you need to do because if you can't communicate and you keep sending automated messages, you're not going to get any anywhere with that. That's one. Next one is you got to fix the, the whole issue with the login and the crashing issues. You got to fix that for Facebook and Android. You have to fix that. Uh, those are the two the two most important ones because if you fix that, players will come back. They'll be able to play their accounts again. And the ones that used to spend might go back to spending and you're going to get more income from that. So you got that. Then the next thing you can do is... It, it, the next thing you can do is just simply... It's as simple as making double events as well because... For th this past Christmas, we we only got what the Xmas event, but we didn't get um the battle royale uh Christmas chest. We we don't get events for most of these holidays, so that that's one thing you guys need to pick up on. Cause the, three years ago, four years ago, you guys used to bring out events for Christmas, for Thanksgiving, and even for um. Oh, Valentine's Day, but now you guys don't do any of that. So that's that's another thing you guys can do is bring out the events, double events, so that way we can actually have some sort of not temptation to spend, but a motivation to like actually spend and improve our accounts. Because if we just keep getting regular end of month and mid month events, the things we get in there, it's not enough to 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 want to spend and spend any any money on this game especially the way it is now so all of those things that's what you guys have to do in order to fix this game learn how to communicate and learn how to listen because other than that this game is it won't last more than two years especially at the rate you're going if you keep if you keep taking out more players with that login issue you're 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 just kill, you're just gonna kill the, the game even faster. That's honestly what you're doing. You're just killing the game even faster.